Hello, I'm obx 2 cat and welcome back to another second channel video. Today I have part 10 of the Fallout 4 Let's Play for you. This is of course the Let's Play that's been in 1080p, 60fps, except when the game drops frames for unknowable reasons. Um, and uh, yeah, we're in this particular part we're going to be clearing out some settlements for the Minutemen. Because we're we're kind of being schizophrenic between the Minutemen and uh, the Brotherhood. Uh, I want to do some side quests that aren't related to them too. So we're going to be doing a bunch of stuff, uh, which I think is for the best. I mean... Although it's awesome to follow one quest line long, uh, and towards the end, of course, I want to do that. Uh, while they're in their early stages, it really is just like let's develop a story. And I don't, you know, like I much, I have much more important things to do than just develop a story. So you know, in the meantime, we'll be doing that. So the place we need to be going is the other direction, it seems. Yeah. What? Wait. What? What is it leading me towards? Oh, so okay, right. <laughs> that makes a lot of sense. So I've been walking the wrong way this whole time. Uh, but we can turn it around because I do want to see what that place is because you see it's got like the weird It looks like an alien crash ship thing. So we'll go to this one on the way because it's like it's vaguely on the way Because discovery is discovery <laughs> Yeah, the, the thing about Fallout is I think it is designed for people That like distracting themselves because I've noticed in real life uh, or in any situation People will like distracting themselves. What well, uh, the things that people really seem to like are distractions not necessarily things to do like as awesome as a productivity tool is everybody loves you know reddit not because you get anything done on reddit or you learn anything on reddit because you know you distract yourself for so long also there's a super mutant right there that doesn't even notice me and i guess we should take him out maybe if you want the water treatment plant that badly i mean i guess the dog might but i'm not so interested so let's just take him out nice and easy Nice. Very, very easy. Okay. I see, I hear one of the super mutant, um, the, the exploded guys coming towards me. So that was just a nice free kill, I guess. Um, oh, wait, is that him there? That's totally him there. Oh, no, that's a hammer. So let's take him out. It's surprisingly easier said than done. There we go. Oh, jeez, dog, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm very sorry. Okay, so, you know, we've learned our lesson. We've learned our lesson. Or actually, have we? I think there's one guy left. Yeah, okay, we, did, we didn't learn a lesson. Okay, no, we've, we've learned a lesson. That's a lesson learned. They have missile launchers. We have not those. Let's get out while we still have legs. Ooh, yeah, these are getting close. These are getting close. Let's just let's just be away from this. So the dog will come back with us. Uh, we might have nuked him. But, you know, dogs are resilient. Like, he should be. Dogs are probably resilient most of the time. <laughs> and it'll be fine. It'll be fine. But we discovered a water production plant, which I'll have to come back to at some point. When I'm not terrified of explosives killing me. Which, uh, maybe I shouldn't be. Maybe I'm letting the terrorists win by being scared of their stuff. But, uh, what, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? I guess not be scared of them. So, yeah, um, there's a federal ration stockpile, which makes me think, I don't know, we'll find federal rations, perhaps. Uh, presuming, because I haven't ever seen that item in the game before, it's probably just going to be, like, you know, canned meat and maybe some weapons? I mean, you got to defend your stuff, right? So yeah, we're going to be very careful about this. I think this is the entrance. Or maybe this is just something random. Uh, Chloe Itz. Is that... Wait, Schloitz? Propentio. Okay, let's sneak in here. Be very, very careful. Take the pre-war money. Get to sleep for a few hours. We, I'd like to sleep for like five, but you don't sleep fast enough, in my opinion. It's like, oh. Uh, who has four seconds to wait for 12 hours to pass? Oh, and the raiders come back, because of course he has. Because he probably... He probably lives here more than one hour a day. So yeah, we'll just uh, check him. Doesn't have anything worthwhile. And we'll move on again. Hey, you gotta play the game. Gotta, gotta just have no attachment stuff and just move on. Like with real life. <laughs> of course, I'm kidding on that one. Uh, so yeah, we can see in the distance. Okay, I'm in danger already. That means I should probably... Okay, it's, it's caution now, not danger. So, again, I don't have anything amazingly powerful right now. Or any damage resistance. So I'm going to have to do this somewhat carefully at the very least. And, okay, yeah, that, yeah, we, we can probably do this just fine. Okay, so, okay, we're hidden. Okay, no, we caution again. I think I'm just going to sneak attack someone and then just, you know, go balls in. I think that's how you have to do this. Maybe? Okay, someone sees me. Ah, oh, and it's a turret. Okay, turret's the worst thing to start attacking because then everyone else knows where you are you don't know where they are it's it's like it's like it's like giving them the sneak advantage on you uh, except that dog even worse so attack. 
the dog. Okay, lots, lots of dogs coming off me, but that's fine. We just need to make sure we're not using our our valuable ammo on them. Oh, this this guy has a spiked dog collar. I should give my dog that. That sounds like something he'd like. Okay, legendary rage. I'm afraid you're gonna have to stop resisting because <laughs> I, I like that stop resisting. Because um, in, in the UK, it's not a problem. Uh, you know, our policeman don't say, "Hey, stop resisting." When no, oh, jeez, he's gonna punch me to death, isn't he? Or I'm gonna punch him to death. Well, I don't know if it counts as punching. But anyway, that was that was kind of nice. Let's see what legendary thing we got. We got a laser musket with 50% more damage against ghouls. Uh, it's actually slightly better than the one we have, so. You know, let's celebrate. Let's use it. Let's use our ghoul slang laser musket, which I don't know how many charges it can hold, but whatever. We can find that out later. And yeah, let's give it a charge. Give it a second charge. And let's see if it's a one-hit kill. If it is, was was that it? I charge twice and I get that much damage. That that's an instant I'm done with you. And we'll switch back out to the the maximum capacity and just be like, well, if we're gonna do that little damage, we'll just do it a lot of times. Except not at this range, we won't. <laughs> I guess this is basically a shotgun, but this is not shotgun shells. Yeah, that's not, not shotgun shells. Nice. So, um, so yeah, we just finish up the turret. Uh, I, think, I, I think I must have overestimated this place, because besides the big guy in the power armor, who admittedly gave me some problems, uh, I am just about clearing this pretty well. Okay, there we go. Did that. Great. Grab his stuff. Uh, weird square of death on the screen for me. I mean, I hope you're not seeing it, but if you are, that's always nice. Um, and take his stim pack, take all his stuff, and then let's charge in here, because that's a thing too. And then, oh wait, oh wait, I've been here before. This links into the basement of a church for some reason, but, but this is the other side. So I guess it's, it's nice to have done it from this side rather than the inside. Does that mean we have to go in here to... Oh, this was just the outside just to get in. Oh, man, man. <laughs> but that means there's some stim packs and some fusion cells and some more rounds. That's all good for me. So yeah, let's uh, let's head inside this place. Wait, but after we kill the Psycho Raider. One shot, two shot. I, I'm, I'm trying to save a critical hit, by the way, because I don't know how long they save for, but it's generally a good idea to always have a critical hit for when you know there's an enemy that's like too difficult to kill. And somewhere in here, if that was the outside, because I was I was pleased myself for doing it easily, but yeah, again, it was just the outside. Then yeah, maybe this would be better. So uh, we're gonna go in here with a shotgun, I reckon, because it looks like it's a bunch of indoor things. All oh, right, I sold all my shotguns. <laughs> I had seven to be fair. Uh, I think zero is but whatever we can do. So we'll use this just because it has a cool sight, and if our health's only gonna go down from here, might as well profit on that, all right? Okay, we, there's no one looking, so we can just take the cans, take the cans, take the cans, and just sneak by. Well, no one's even paying attention. And I guess we're gonna pop up here. Oh, jeez. Where'd the little bitch go? Okay, okay, yeah. This, so there's a turret somewhere. Okay, I'm on fire. Everything's on fire. The whole world is on fire. We're just gonna run through here. And there's mine. Okay, so now I'm on fire and I'm exploded. But at least my, my gun's gonna do more damage. And it has 30 capacity anyway. We're all good. We're all good. Who's there? Um, oh, and we're alerting even more of the base every second. Okay, so yeah, this, this does a good bit of damage. And it has a sight, which is slightly more usable than the... Okay, yeah, I'm gonna die. I'm, I'm gonna die. It's like I have two broken arms, which I think is cancelling out all of the extra damage I do. Or maybe just give me more recoil. I'm not sure how broken arms actually work. But um, I'd be surprised if it wasn't less damage because of how little I'm doing right now. So we'll just uh, run a little bit more, find this secret room here, go in and... Oh! Stealth wood. How very nice. And also, get some stuff. Yeah, I I'm shaking around a lot for somewhere broken arms. Like, I mean, this doesn't even make sense like... Okay, there we go, we're fine. <laughs> it doesn't even make sense that I can shoot a gun if I have broken arms. And... Okay, yeah, we're gonna... We, we have to heal. Like, it's, it's just a requirement right now. Just to give ourselves an injection. Let's finish this woman off, shall we? So yeah, just a few more. Okay, yeah, so it was definitely the broken arms doing less damage. So I was like, oh, this is taking like 12 shots, and this is a pretty nice rifle. With a pretty nice sight, and I was going for like neck and head shots. But yeah, so let's, uh, let's carry on through this place. Uh, it's, it's really just a formality, because uh, the Minutemen want us to. But still. Oh, we can't go in the secret place without Master. Oh, that's what I wanted to put some points into. That's what I wanted to save something for. Oh, are we all done now? Besides, uh, it's you. 
Okay, no, I, I thought this was the place we started. There's a lot of people still left to die, it seems. Oh, no, they're not. Yeah, courage today, victory tomorrow. Damn right, that's how it is. So is that is that game over? No, okay, there's still someone else. So I guess we need to unlock the master terminal. Or I, I guess it could be one of these like open from the other side doors because I don't remember this from a previous look around here, which is nice. I, I like that it's different. Hacking yeah, we, we definitely don't have uh, master level hacking. So we're just going to go through this place in a different order. So I think last time. Okay, so yeah, the, okay, there's another door over there. Wait, is there? Is that a door? It looks like an imaginary door. No, nope, it's, a, it's a real door. <laughs> I'm glad it's not imaginary. Because uh, otherwise I just stop imagining something. Nice. Like if, if you're going to imagine something, make it fun. Don't make it a door like, oh, I see doors that don't exist. That's, that's boring. No one wants to see that. So we did, we did, we did get a fusion, uh, a, yeah, a fusion core. Which is great for the power armor. Which again, we're not really using, even though we probably should be. I, I, it almost takes some of the challenge out of the game by doing that, though. So I think I should make it a rare treat. <laughs> like, uh, once I get five fusion cores, I'll just... I'll, I'll use them all up at once and then go back in and so on and so forth. Oh, there's actually a third entrance into this place. Oh, exit slash entrance. How do, how do you define an entrance from an exit? I mean, you can always go through... Oh, no. you know, let's do, now's not the time to be kind of soft on how entrances work. Let's just... Okay, so the guy died, but not the turret. Okay, now the turret's died. <laughs> I guess the dog did it, right? Yep, yes, she did. So yeah, this is just another dead end room. Oh, with a tool case. You know when you have to unlock it, there's probably not just fusion glue in there. Probably. Potentially. Oh, yeah. So, oh, 40 damage on this thing. That's very tempting. And then this is 0.45, does 28 damage. Not really worth taking, in my opinion. So we can go to sleep now, which is nice. Just might as well take all the naps we can. I mean, what else are we doing all day, right? Take some ammo from all over the place. And yeah, it seems like there was just a triple dead end room. Oh, no, no. Okay, it's not a dead end. So I feel like we... Okay, no, we haven't been here before because I would remember that minute. I'm sorry, dog. I feel so bad when I run through something and he doesn't run as fast as me. Because, like, this is all entirely your fault. But I, I still feel like some of the guilt is on my, my shoulders. You wait. Gonna take you out. Take your shotgun shell. Take it. Oh, short double brown shotgun. Thank you very much. I'll take it. I realize that plus and minus actually means like whether it's better or worse now. For the longest time, I used to think it meant that they modded it in some way, and I'd, I'd try and work out how they modded it. But I think it just means better or worse than your current gun. And when, when it comes to a shotgun, if I don't have any, it'll just say, "Yeah, this is better than that non-existent shotgun." Which I mean, they're not wrong about that, are they? But yeah, so dogs fighting with someone in there. We're not, we're not too bothered. We just need to guess the end of this place, which seems to be up there, so. Oh, got a machine gun. Turret. Sneak attack, apparently. Apparently counts on turrets. Oh, we are running out of ammo fast. Let's switch to the... Ooh, bridge authority. Oh, wow, this thing's way better. Why am I not using that? But <laughs> Let's switch to the, uh, the spam weapon. Maximum capacity. Put that on our favorite bar, too. Well, in fact, you know what? Let's let's tell people to stop resisting. Stop resisting. Stop resisting. Stop. Stop resisting. That's against the law. You will be arrested. Oh wow. They just sweep on the feet. I did. That's pretty cool actually. Then we'll do the same with the turret, which is way more dangerous because these things explode when they're done. Oh, it can spin all the degrees. Oh. <laughs> that makes things easier. There we go. Oh, okay. Nice. <laughs> Uh, toolbox, got some more rounds in there. I don't know why people put all these rounds in the toolboxes, but I guess I'll take it. And also these, these this wood is very broken. <laughs> and yeah, there's one more turret and one more person, I assume. Yeah. Done. It all happens so fast. See, that's 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 why people just need to stop resisting sometimes. And um, the terrible thing about the autosave system is sometimes it'll be like, yep, you lose. Oh no, I, I, I slept, so only a little bit has to be done again. But like sometimes it's just like, oh, I have to do that all again because I didn't think to save. And maybe, maybe it's designed to be that way. I, I really don't know. Uh, I, I did think I liked it, but then it got on my nerves a little bit. Yeah, let's go through this room. We'll be very fast again. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, well, I'll finish you off. Be very easy. I think, I think the best way to use a weapon like this is just to be do what I'm doing. I'm just charging and doing that. So this time, I'm not really too bothered about you. I'm uh, just going to charge straight through it. Gonna jump over this, jump over that, before the turrets even see me. 
And I'm just gonna go see. Okay, you, you're the only one I have to kill. Okay. So I'll just fire a few bullets into the head. She's called the Red Tourette, which is uh, it's a really lame like gang name, if that's what it is. And I also get the uh, password. Oh, I can go in there and I can find out what that is. Um, so yeah, that's nice. Oh, she dropped a combat rifle. They're very good weapons. Uh, they use 45, if I'm right. But, wait, it's just short. It's pretty good. Like, 33 damage. It's pretty nice. And let's give it a try, shall we? So, compared to last time, that went a lot smoother, I think. And also, there's a computer, which I have the password to. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, we got people to kill because we just ran through the whole thing. So, we did uh, complete the quest, which means that if I'm right, we head down this hallway. And eventually... Wait, what's... What is down there in this hallway? Yeah, there's there's no way out. So, I was correct in thinking this, um... It's a really cool thing I just found by accident, because it's really near one of the settlements in this spawn. Uh, basically, there's a church which links into that place, which I just happened to find before, and I guess I must have done the quest automatically. And yeah, it's a lonely chapel, so... I don't know, I think it's nice that there were people trying to hole out in the chapel, and then... Or maybe this is actually people from before the war, except one of them has an assault gas mask in there. I don't know, som sometimes it's hard to work out what's pre-war and post-war, because it has actually been 200, like... Is the dog... The dog's praying. Oh, that's that's adorable. That's that's really really adorable, dog. But yeah, let's head back down. Uh, Cause we do need to check out what's in the. Actually, do we? Yeah, I, I want to go get. You know, I, I got the password. Let's go see what's in there. So we go in from this end. It's actually faster to fast travel through there. As bizarre as it sounds. And yeah, we'll go check that out, shall we? Um, so yeah, I, I think it's um like 200 years is a, a long long time. And uh, it's, it's, it's bizarre to me that everyone's still living in the way they do. Like, a part of me thinks that some societies will have developed. Like, Diamond City should be more developed if it's the most developed city. But maybe that's just me. Maybe I have a different perception of... Also, the spotlight's following me. Yeah. Where, how is it following me? What What is this thing rigged up to? How does it know? Well, that fixed more than one problem. I mean, there's not even around here to be bored by it, but it bugged me, and that's all that counts. So, yeah, we're just going to quickly work out what's in that secret area. Because secret areas, I don't know, sometimes they contain the best stuff. Well, almost always, in fact. And we've got a short combat rifle, so worst case scenario, we uh, we get to give it a test on some live people, rather than just... Oh, Stimpaks, how nice. Yeah, let's, let's get a live test of our combat rifle, shall we? So let's, uh, I guess, first aid? No. Let's lock up terminal. Uh, should be as easy as security gun Yep, yeah, just as easy as that. And we're going to work out what's in there. I, I'm hoping for really good stuff. I don't know if I'm going to actually get that. Wait, is this... This is an area I've been before, right? No, is it? Okay, so... Actually, stuff that's not as good as what I have right now. Because otherwise, it would say plus. A uh, couple of nuka colas. That's nice. I guess this is the rations part of the ration stockpile. And then there are other doors which open up to here. Oh, which also had the the thing. And that that's this whole place. So what do you think, dog? Give me your opinion. Okay, yep, good opinion, good opinion. Hey. Yeah, surpri surprisingly I don't know, I, I feel as though like it's it's got a master terminal. It just you expect a little bit more. You expect a little bit more. I I maybe I'm spoiled by the game. Maybe it's just give me too much that now it gives me too little. Either way, uh that was, that was interesting. Let's head back to the farm and let's tell them we did a good thing. It only took us 17 minutes as well. Actually, a little bit less because we spent a lot of the time just going towards the wrong destination. I think we made good time in that mission. I mean, not that it's about time. Although there isn't everything about time. What do you think about it, man? But yeah, no, it's in seriousnessly. Well, in seriousnessly? Uh, <laughs> I mean, I combined two words there. Let's report our success, shall we? Then we'll go report the success to Night Reese and we'll see if that was an infinite mission. Because if it is, then, you know, we, we goofed up a little bit. Uh, well, even then, we, we explored somewhere new. We got a key to some mysterious place. Uh, and, you know, mysteries are just as important as rewards. Although, also, he's going to reward me, so. Excuse me. We got that, too. Yo there, bro. Or yo, bro, for short. You find those raiders? Yep. Yeah, I took care of them. No kidding? That's the best piece of news we've got. So we've been talking. We decided if you came through for us, we'd join up. If we want things to get better, we've got to start helping each other. Yeah, you do. So we're in. You can count on us if you need help down the line. 
Thanks again, Fred. Okay, so I got at least two more buddies. Are they a couple? I just want to trade a few things. Sure thing. They're a trading couple, so. Oh, and they because they belong to me, it's just my stuff now. Thank you very much. Yep, that was a good trade. Awesome then. So, is this theirs as well? This random churchy place? Okay, no, okay. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. So, I'm gonna have to tell some rad robots to stop resisting. And then we can go to sleep. So, I guess. Yeah, this is actually part of their property. That's nice, I guess. Uh, so, yeah, we, these are all projects that we can kind of take under our wing. I don't really care about them now. I just want the ability to build here. Because then what you can do is you can go in. And be like, armor, scrap this. Do you really need... Th oh, that's actually worth keeping. But you just take some stuff that they don't need. Just like this big shrub here. Or this tree. Okay, or... Apparently this is a bad example. But yeah, you can just find branches, 12 wood. Refrigerator. I mean... Does it need to be there? No, we'll take the steel and the rubber. Just stuff like that. It's always good to get rid of because they can make it look better. And give you stuff to build with to make it even more better. More better, yeah, obviously. There we are. But yeah, just a little pro tip right there. But yeah, let's head back to Preston now and let's tell him what a good job we did. And then he's gonna he's gonna give me the secrets. He is. I don't know what these secrets are. I mean, if I did, they would be pretty horrible secrets if you ask me. But I'm excited to hear about them. Yeah, this guy's a big, big, big old robot right there. So yeah, let's. Fight. What what is he doing? He's always in very bizarre places. Like it seems as though he's like trying to find a house that works for him. So he's just gonna. Hey. Stare at the bear on the wall. Is that a bear? A fox? Whatever it is. You know that settlement you sent me to help? They've decided to join the Minutemen. That's yeah, they did. News. I knew you were the right person for the job. By the way, you should have one of these flare guns. You can use it to signal for help from any nearby Minutemen. Not ah. much use yet, but once we have more allied settlements, you'll have help whenever you need it. You so, there's something I need to ask you. I guess you know I'm one of the last of the Minutemen. But I never really told you what happened to us. Ooh, I'm listening. I'm listening. Have you heard of the Quincy Massacre? A little bit. What was it? I thought everyone in the Commonwealth knew about that by now. Where the Minutemen betrayed each other and the people they were supposed to protect. I was with Colonel Hollis's group. A mercenary group called the Gunners was attacking Quincy. The people there called for the Minutemen to help. We were the only ones that came. The other groups, they just turned their backs on us and the folks in Quincy. Only a few of us got out alive. Colonel Hollis was dead. So I ended up in charge of the survivors. We Deep never man. found a safe Deep. place to settle. One disaster after another. You saw how it ended in Concord? Yeah, I did. I did. I know how it feels to be the last survivor. Yeah, I guess you do. That's why I'm talking to you. I can't rebuild the Minutemen, but I think you can. I mean, we met literally days ago in in-game time, but sure. That means a lot coming from you, Harvey. I appreciate that. Uh, yeah, okay. why not? I'll be the leader if you're good. I'll do it. Good. Good. Welcome aboard. I feel like this is a whole new star for the Minutemen. Mm -hmm. Don't worry. Awesome. Quite a promotion. <laughs> That's quite a promotion you just gave me. The leader of the Minutemen has always held the rank of general. Our last leader was General Becker. After he died back in 82, nobody could agree on who should take his place. The one good thing about being the last Minuteman is <laughs> there's no one to argue with me when I say you're the new general. That is true. Now it's your job to make it more than an empty. Sure. I've got something a bit different for you. Okay. Blank. Our empty scouts have found a promising spot for a new settlement. The trouble is that some kind of vicious beasts are lairing. Once you clear it out, set up a radio beacon to let settlers ah, okay, know Okay, then. Okay. Before you know it, we'll have a thriving new farm instead of wasteland. We'll take back the Commonwealth, one piece at a time. Okay then, so basically for the longest time he's going to tell me to do lots of stuff and then hopefully that moves somewhere. Because I, like I said, he's one of he's one of the four factions that's just, that doesn't want to kill everyone else. It's, just, it's not like, you know what, they have to die for us to live. Also, what what is this painting? Uh, I, I guess it was nearly Halloween when the whole thing happened. That explained why my son looks like a pumpkin. Because he's in the Halloween spirit. 
because this is my son, if you're not familiar. Wait, how do we rotate this? Oh, okay. What, what, what did, how did, how did I just do that? <laughs> okay, but yeah. So, uh, robot's just chilling here. Should I make him my companion? Mom, Actually, welcome back, Mum. I do Mom. hope you were able to find. <laughs> uh, yep, you new say friends. That. Can't have of those these no. I realize that I'm no Mr. Gun. Oh, okay. Um, do I want a robot with me? No, really. Uh, not yet. No, not. All right then. Oh, I'm sorry, robot. So yeah, we we got like how many companion options now? Like three, maybe four. Not bad, not bad. Anyway, yeah, let's find out what the Brotherhood wants of us, because that's a thing they expressed interest in. And yeah, we'll do that. So, oh, that's Starlight Driving I'm trying to go to. One thing I want to do, though, is, and I think the the, uh, the Minutemen are actually a pretty cool way to do this, is kind of explore some of the, you know, the the areas of Fallout 4 world that I haven't really had an opportunity to yet. Because, you know, it's, it's a big place. I I haven't found another vault yet. I've only found the vault that's part of the main story and the the one that you spawn in. And I imagine, you know, every game has a few vaults. I imagine this one's got to have more because it has so many places. I'm going to go find another vault. So that's going to be my, I think, my ambition for the, the next few well, I, I guess I don't know where to explore for them. But yeah, I want to explore. I want to find a vault. The moment I find a vault, I'm dropping everything and I'm going to do that. So, just so you all know what's happening in the future, that's what's happening. That's what's happening. Yeah. So, let's speak to Mr. Reese. Reese the... That location better be cleared out. Whoa. I think so. I think I got it. Think? We don't call him. <sighs> Come back when you know. Fine. <clears throat> I don't like you anymore. Face. I take it that area is clear. Affirmative. Really? Maybe you're not as Jeez. worthless as I thought. I hate Here's you. Here's your pay. Uh -huh. Commonwealth is a big place in need of some serious exterminating. Also, why 97? You need time to regroup. Take it. Once you're ready, let me know. I'm not ready. I'll be here when. Okay, you... so he's now giving me infinite quests as well. How do I get the next real quest? You look like you're set Paladin for more dance. field work. Got another mission if you're up for it. Yep, not not sure of you. Paladin dance. Speak to me. Oh, okay. He started saying words, but I couldn't hear them. If you ever feel like thinning the herd, there are plenty of Can you? Can you? Can you? Like this is just a weird sound balancing issue. You're a brotherhood initiative. Like he's saying words, but I can't hear them. Hello. If you need to fix up your power armor, we have some equipment in the garage. If if you if you spoke louder, jeez, okay, I hate him. See if you can lend him a hand. I kind of want to kill you now. I okay, we'll sleep for now. It is three a.m. He must have a hoarse voice from all the partying he's been doing tonight. He does look like he gets out of it. Excuse me, paladin dance. Remember, there we if you go. see any sins, terminate them with extreme prejudice. We don't take prisoners. I'm busy right now, initiate. Perhaps we'll speak later. He gave ah oh, whatever. You know. There's clearly some more, you know, yeah, there's some more stuff to this. I guess maybe we should just go to the airport. I think we did that, and maybe that didn't go so well. Yeah, actually, that, that is that is exactly what happened. So, for now, I guess we'll no unlock way. the safe, because, you know, we, we wanted to level it up anyway. Where is it on here? Uh, safe. Yeah, expert locks. Let's do it. And then master locks at level 18. But for now, let's find out what's in this awesome safe. Oh. Okay, that's nice. That's kind of nice. That's... Eh. Eh. Yeah, okay. Probably not worth the whole point, but I mean, I can use it later. So, not too bad at all. Not too bad at all. And also, a chem cooler I missed, which has bourbon and... Let's just let's just drink the bourbon. I think, I think that's what we need right now. We're being ignored by everyone. Let's have a good bourbon. Which isn't radiated. Nice. Okay, apparently I drank a whole bottle. I'm just going to keep on playing like normal. That seems pretty realistic. And let's go back to the... Wait, the motor pool? So yeah, since, since, since he's ignoring me, I'm just going to explore the rest of this place. Because when in doubt, explore your surroundings, you know? You have been in real life and... Wow, the moon's come out. It's it's like 3.30pm and there's a moon in the sky. Oh, okay, so... Why did it say that the motor pool? I guess... Oh, I can upgrade my, um, my power suit here. That's nice. I can probably also... I've already been here because it's all empty. <laughs> uh, so yeah, let's um, should we head into the city, which we've already done from this angle? I I want to explore somewhere. I've got a, I've got a real cravings for exploration, and you know there's there's main story stuff, main story stuff, and should we go? Should we should we just clear that place out? Because you know it gives me an opportunity to explore somewhere new. 
I think we should. I think we should. So let's go to the Museum of Freedom, a place we have been before. Let's see if it's still holding up strong. And let's travel to the Starlight Drive-In. That, that sounds like an idea. That sounds like quite the idea. Um, however, unfortunately, we have come to the end of this part of the Fallout 4 Let's Play. I hope you have been enjoying it so far. I've been enjoying making it, so that's all great if you are. Um, like it if you did like it. If, you, if this is your first episode for some bizarre reason, I'd recommend checking out the playlist because it is in order. Uh, this should automatically like take you to the next episode. But if it doesn't, um, check it on my channel or something like that. Also, stop resisting, please. Um, some, sometimes when you fast travel places, it's like just effort to take people out. Like they're never too challenging. But it'll, sometimes they are actually. Never. I, I retract that previous statement. Uh, but yeah, that's that. So thank you all for watching. Like if you liked it, second channel, don't care. Goodbye.